And the thing is, is I think that when people just decide that this is how they're going to be, mm-hmm. they're also around people like like them. Mm-hmm. And they don't ever prepare themselves to be around people. That's why when you go to a dentist office, they tell you to put your comb your hair. They're like, oh. oh, I've never been around people who expect anything of me. Yeah. Oh. Oops. Oh, my God. There's a place that people expect something of me, and I wasn't prepared for that. Yeah. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Um, so I was looking at Instagram and I saw this girl talking about but some dentist um, put a, a sign up in front of their door and people are all mad at her for this. Okay, so anyways, I'm gonna put the clip up so you guys can see what we're talking about and we will get into this. So a black owned dental office had a sign posted that said no house shoes, no pajamas, no bonnets, right? And social media was so up in arms that they tried to destroy this woman's business by leaving her bad reviews, saying that the sign was anti-black. I just want to know why everything negative and uncouth has to be labeled black culture. I also want to know why advocating for us to go in public looking like we care about ourselves and how we look is deemed as respectability politics. We should not be condoning and advocating for clear signs of depression. Because the only times I've ever been raggedy in public is when something was off with me mentally. Rolling out of bed in the morning and going in public with a bonnet and pajamas on and house shoes is unacceptable. Uncouth behavior, no matter what race of people does it. And going out in public looking well put together like I care about myself doesn't mean that I'm trying to be like white people or I'm trying to get white people to respect me. Maybe it's because I respect me. Let's make having self-respect a part of black culture. I love what she's saying. I love that she's a young lady saying this. I love she's a young black lady saying this because people want to admit these things. Now, we had a video a long time ago where, you guys remember when um, Monique um, did a, she did a video and she was calling out black women who come out of the house with their, with their bonnets on and, you know, just like they rolled out of bed and their pajamas to the, the grocery store, this type, you know, you guys know. Um, and so we, we did a video on it and we were like, no, no, she's absolutely right. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what happened here because there was a time where even when we were growing up, like there was a time where people did not come out of the house looking like a hot mess. And now what we have are people that just don't care about themselves. No, right? I don't care what race you are. When people seem to go yeah. to the grocery store, they look like they rolled right out of bed. <laughs> I mean, you never see so many women not wearing bras. Yeah. Wearing spaghetti it's... strap shirts with no bras. Um, mm-hmm. Wearing uh, men's uh, loungewear. Mm-hmm. Um, flip flops. Do rags. Um, bonnets. Bonnets. I mean, you couldn't. You couldn't look. I mean, and you, and then you go on Instagram and, and everybody looks like they have some sense. Oh yeah. Everybody starts looking like they have some. Well, they look a little bit sexual, but at least they their makeup. They're made up. They look you know good. I mean? And I blame this on feminism. I have always blamed this on feminism because I think that it's so interesting to me that the, the when women when feminism wasn't a thing and women were at home cooking mm-hmm. and cleaning, somehow they all looked good. I know. And then as soon as women funny? said, uh, "No, we get to go to work and we're just more like men," bras came sudden, off. We just started looking like or, crap. Yeah. Because we don't have to impress men anymore. No. Because okay. I have to be honest with you, well, I agree with this young lady when she was saying that like when I when, when I do see someone that is not that doesn't have their self together, right? Doesn't have their, their hair is not done. I do often feel like those people are it's depression. Right? Because who really would go outside like that? Like who who really mm-hmm. would do that? Well, I mean, it's it's, it's Why would you to do me that? that's what I'm saying. I think it's a thread of a lot of things. We're sexually overly promiscuous. Yeah, even we don't see that. And what I'm saying is, when I say that, what I'm saying is that we don't seem to care anymore. Yes, at all about anything. Anything. The way we look, what we do with our bodies, how we display ourselves on social media, how we display ourselves on, um, mm-hmm. you know, you know, we don't care about values mm-hmm. anymore or morals. Mm-hmm. We just look awful. And I'm not just saying women. It's just men too. Yeah. Yes. You know what I mean? It's like we've de- we've decided that it's just okay to look like, and we care so much. You know how many times I, I when people talk to me about weed, mm-hmm. oh, they, oh, it needs to be legalized. Mm-hmm. I don't ever care if that's legalized. You know why? Because when people start smelling like weed, they start looking bad. Yeah. They slouch. I'm talking about both men and women. They slouch. They don't. They look unkept. I mean, everyone well, seems to think that people like they think of people like Bill Maher yeah. who smoke weed and then he wears a suit. Yeah. There are some people that literally oh. have two lives. They can go home and smoke with it. But the great majority of people who, so, who, who do this just look It's an addiction. Horrible. You well, know what because, I mean? Because, you know, Physically. Weed, cause weed also puts you in a very lazy state. state. The point of it, honestly, is to relax you. So, 
You know what I mean? So, 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 so imagine that it relaxing you, but imagine the person who smokes it every single day and can't function without it have developed a, you know, um, a addiction to it in some way. Mm -hmm. they're, they're definitely, like I've seen this, they're definitely people who are just depressed. People and can't yeah. function without a substance. People and feel so, like they can't deal with standards. Yeah. Like there, there has to be, you have to have some standards mm -hmm. in your life, yeah. some discipline. There has to be something in you that makes you want to get up mm -hmm. and show your best self mm -hmm. and walk out the door, not only with the way you look, but your attitude matches it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And so whenever I see someone just wake up, go outside, and they've got no, like, hygiene. Yeah, that, that too. You know what I mean? That too. Hygiene. And it goes hand in hand. And, or their, their, their hair is unkept, or they've got a big bonnet on, mm -hmm. and they just don't seem to care. They've got clothes with holes in them. Mm -hmm. They don't really seem to give a damn yeah. about the way they look. You know what I mean? And then it's met with a certain attitude that matches it. Yes. And then, you know, and I feel like people are just becoming too comfortable. Mm -hmm. These other, didn't you say that one time you said- Like last week when we were in the store, we've gotten too casual. So I feel like we've gotten to, our, our appearance has gotten too casual and it's way too, we're, we err more on the side of just look, being comfortable as opposed to being presentable. Mm -hmm. And that, I, that's where I, I draw, I don't like, I draw that line very clear in my life. Like when I leave my mm -hmm. home, if I'm out in public, like I like to look nice. Why I don't would you go like to the doctor's office yeah. looking like that? Why would you do that? But that's what I'm saying. That's why I'm happy that they even put that on there. I know it makes people mad. I know they try to get this dentist and try to uh, ruin them with bad reviews and stuff, which, okay, figures. figures. You know, of Typical, course, of course you um, would. Black people, yeah. they don't get their way. It's just, <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what up. You know what I mean? The and it's probably a black dentist. Oh, it, it, I think you know what I mean? And she, as, soon as, as soon as she says no she bonnets, says all of a sudden you, you assume black people wear bonnets. bonnets. You don't even think of the fact that it could be some other race yeah. of people. But, you because know, we know. <laughs> as soon as we, we don't know. start, you know, mm -hmm. because when, I think when Monique, Says mm -hmm. something about it. they all got mad at her, mm -hmm. and I think Matt Walsh not too long ago talked about um, people going to the airport because he travels all the time mm -hmm. now, and he said um, he's I travel all the time, and every time I go there, I see men and women they're just like slobs at the airport. He's like, and I refuse. No. He's like, I have six kids. I have six kids, a wife. He said my my um, income. It, my, 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 our lifestyle is built on my mm -hmm. income, so I have to go out there. He said, and, and even me, mm -hmm. I can get up and put on a shirt and a pair of pants, a mm -hmm. clean pair of pants, comb my hair, right. brush my teeth, and look like a human being when I go to the airport. He said, you go there and you see both men and women just looking like, mm -hmm. like junkies. Yeah. They just look awful. Right. And I'm saying that even when I go to the grocery store. I see people going to the, the store, and I'm not saying you have to look like a pageant winner. I'm just saying right. put on a clean pair of pants. Put on a, a clean shirt. Like people talk so much about, oh, you know, but your personality is gonna be okay. Yes, your personality. You, that's very important. We all understand and know that. But I don't think people understand that the that your presentation, your visual appearance, the way that you walk out into the world and people see you, that is a direct connection to how you're mm -hmm. feeling about yourself. In my opinion, so. <laughs> when you walk out of the house with a do rag or a bonnet and pajamas and slippers, you know, hair unkept, I feel that you are going through some type of depression. I do. There has to be something linked to that because there's no way that some person, but then also, like you were saying, I also think that people just feel like they don't have to anymore. They don't have to. I can be mm -hmm. as casual as I want to now. It's just, there's depression. It's like and women look like arrogance. slobs, so yeah. men feel like they can now look like slobs. slobs. Oh, we can both look like slobs. You know, I was, yeah. what, I, this is, I don't quote her very often, mm -hmm. but I agree. This is one thing me and Kim Kardashian will agree on. Mm -hmm. And she said, um, I don't ever want to look. I agree. Like I haven't taken care of myself. Right. Yes. <laughs> That's yes. correct. She's correct on that. She's like, I'm not saying that because I'm famous. I'm saying that if I wasn't famous. No, She's like, I don't look. see why anybody would want to look bad on purpose. Let me tell you something. We, okay, so you guys, I've got some of you guys are new here. Um, but we have talked about, you know, our, how we were brought up and stuff with our mom and things. And our mom. My mother would never walk out of the house. You would, I, good luck trying to find a day where she's like a mess outside of the home. Okay. And even inside the home. My mother never looked, as children, we always saw her look good. We always saw her trying, you know, and putting effort into herself in some way. 
You know what I mean? Because because how you present yourself to the world is very important. So we never ever <laughs> that example would mm -hmm. ever walk out of the house. And our the, mom and our mom's a single mother. I that's I, why I, that's grew, what, yeah. I grew up watching this mm -hmm. woman every morning as a single mom make breakfast for us, mm -hmm. then go in her bathroom, put hot rollers in her hair, yep. make her face up, do the whole pull it fair faucet, yeah. pull your hair forward, <laughs> sure and, da, 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 yes. you know what I mean, and um. Come make herself some coffee, get some decent clothes on, mm -hmm. drop us off from school. So there was never, I never saw why you have to look like that. You know what I mean? So uh, for us, mm -hmm. you know, if you, if this woman can do it, with Single all, mom, she, with all, all stuff, the things that yeah. were put on her, you know, back, I don't understand why. And then we said this one time on one of our shows, some woman that was actually a viewer of ours said, um, you're not taking in consideration yeah. people who have who may have a hectic life. I said, I don't care if you have a hectic life or not. What's wrong with you? Especially if you she said, what if you have kids? Especially, Especially if, if you, you have, have children. Kids. What do you mean? I have these people who just think that they don't have to put effort in life because life is hard. Life right. is always hard. Yeah. Everybody's always going through something. What do you mean? You're just gonna walk around looking like crap because life is hard? It's, it's unbelievable to me. It, it doesn't make any sense to me. This woman's not wrong. No, you and, know what I mean? She's and right. she's right about the whole when um you are trying to present yourself right to the world, whether it be, you know, your speech, the way you mm -hmm. present yourself, all of a sudden that's equated to you're trying to please white people. And by the way, white women like, like crap too sometimes. No, that's not just... You know what I mean? So what's what's equating problem? that to white? Yeah. Because I've seen some crappy looking white women, believe mm -hmm. me, I've who, seen that. who look awful. You know what I mean? So let's stop yeah. saying that everything that's white is right. Yeah. Some things are just what it is. Yeah. It's just best. Right. You know what I mean? Like, you know right. what I mean? It's not, it's not white or black. Mm -hmm. It's best. Why are we in this world right now where you just, where, where presentation. Like, really, we want to look good for selfies, but then in your real life, you yeah. walk around. It should be the which, reverse, really. Which, good, which, good point. If anything, it should be yeah. the reverse. I don't think you should look bad on, on, online either. But what I'm saying is, is that, yeah. so you take this really nice picture of yourself right. online, but then the rest of your life, you're walking around looking like a weirdo. I have, <laughs> I have personally bumped into a few people that, you know, online that I know, and, Online, they look fabulous. Like they look fab in person. Bonnets don't care no more. It's like it just is a whole different. It's like a it's like a different persona, like an online persona. I guess you would say. I'm like, this is a whole different person. You don't you don't have the same energy. As See, you I'm did starting online. to think that the problem isn't racism. It isn't sexism. It's not even uh, gender or anything like that. No, it's, it's effort. Not. Yeah, effort. People and need to put of. more effort <laughs> in their life and lean and and get off of yeah. other things. Right. Like, oh, uh, you're black. It's be it's because we're black. No, no, no. Or it's because I'm a woman. Or it's because I'm gay. No, I think that you need to lean on effort. Yeah. People like people who yeah. are who are who are nice. Mm -hmm. People want to be around you when you're nice, when you're happy, mm -hmm. when you're. What Andrew Tate said. He said I treat. He's I'm trying. He said I teach my sons to be tough. I teach my daughters to be happy. Yes. Because no man wants to be around a woman who's not happy. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. He's like, I don't want her looking like crap no. or being, un, you know what I mean? Like, I want her to look as good as, you know, I feel, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So why would, so why would I want my daughter to look bad mm -hmm. and be unhappy? Yeah. Who wants to be around that? Not even women don't. I mean, I don't, I don't as a woman, mm -hmm. I don't want to be around some unhappy woman yeah. all day. Right. You know what I mean? Even as a friend, like, I don't want to sit around and hear about your depressing life all the time. Right. I don't know why people think it's okay to go to a dentist office in a bonnet. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't get that. That part I don't understand. I'm trying to understand it, but I don't. Even if Maybe you, you are depressed. Say you say you, you you lose somebody. Yes. And you're actually sad and it shows. Yeah. The the one thing your friends are gonna do is try to get you out of that. They're not gonna just say this is the it. Yes. You just stay like this. That's not a real friend. A real mm -hmm. friend will be there for you and tell you, hey, you know, mm -hmm. you got to get out. Yeah. You got to get up. Open the blinds. Mm -hmm. You know, take a shower. Because the truth is, is again, when you put effort, mm -hmm. you can't be unhappy when you put effort in your life. Yeah. You got to fake it till you make it a lot you of do. times. And, 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 and in general, just sometimes. anyway, even if you make it, you mm -hmm. still will fake it sometimes. Yeah. Because you do have things to do. You have to get up. Yeah. Sometimes I don't want to go to work. Still got to get up. Mm hmm Sometimes I don't want to work out. Still got to do it. Still got to do Sometimes it. Sometimes I don't want to eat healthy. Still got to do it. Sometimes I don't want to, you know what I mean? Sometimes mm -hmm. I don't want to put on makeup. Mm -hmm. But still got to do it. Yeah. Still got to fix my hair. You know what I mean? Because, you know, well, you got to live. Yeah. And you, you have to put effort in your life. Your life really will be depressing. I think that if you are, if you are not putting effort in yourself, you're going to be around other people mm -hmm. who also don't do it. 
Okay. You're fine just the way that you are. No, you're not. No, but I hear people say that, especially about people who are not fine the way they are. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know, whether you just be a hot mess altogether. Like, I feel like you're not saying that is not helping the situation. Saying that is enabling someone to, to continue the behavior. You're not helping someone when they look a wreck and then saying, oh, but you are beautiful the way you are. Be happy in the skin that you're in. You know, all these cliche taglines that we have that are just a bunch of BS. Like, no. Put effort into yourself. Yeah. Like, can you imagine being the person that walked up to the dentist place and then saw, and you're wearing a bonnet and you saw the sign? Like, do you dare to go in? Like, I wonder if people actually went in. They got yeah. Totally, I wonder how that worked out. But I think that that's also tell, teaching people. We should always teaching be in a mood. People. We should always be in the mood for an upgrade. Mm-hmm. Well, the Somewhere in your life. If yeah. it's not physical, then it's mental. Right. If it's not mental, then it's emotional or spiritual. Mm -hmm. We're always in the mood. You should always be in the mood for an upgrade. Yeah. I don't care where you think you are. You know what I mean? Care and to it, me, yeah. I say that is not liking you who you are. You, you have to like yourself, mm -hmm. but you should always be trying to upgrade your life, especially mm -hmm. if you have the gift of life. Mm -hmm. Walking yeah. around acting like you're dead or like you don't matter. Mm -hmm. That's not, to me, that's ungrateful Yeah. to life. It is. There are people today t getting told that they're not going to live and you're anymore. Here you got life and you walk around looking like a hot mess on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah, I'm like, no. And trying to pretend like that's okay because you don't put effort. And especially you people have kids. They have an example. You know, you know, I see this sometimes. And I see parents mm -hmm. that have who have like two or three children. I see it all and they look like crap. And I'm just thinking to myself, what are you teaching your kids here? Right. That, they, that, they, that, they, that their estate doesn't matter at all? Think about when you go, go to get a job. Think about all these things. I've been in a position before where I've hired people, right? Where I've been, I've done interviews and I had to hire people. And sometimes I would get so, like, when I see people to come to the interview interview with their hair not done, their, you know, their nails not kept, or just that they don't look, they're just not presentable, they really don't care. I'm like, I'm definitely not hiring you, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm, like so... I don't want you representing my business. This interferes with a lot of parts of your life. You a lot of elements yeah. in your life are going to be affected by the way that you present yourself. A lot of areas of life are going to be affected by the way you speak. Even your your speech. Like she was mentioning, like every every you know people when when black people talk right, it's considered talking white. You ever I see this? Lots of white people it's like, have bad grammar. <laughs> What do you mean? I know, you know right? What I mean? And that you know what though? I will say this: that our mother, the one thing that I am grateful for, our mother taught us how to be around different people. And I think yeah, a lot of people don't hang around anyone but the people they yes. see every day. They don't. They don't yes. open their mind to meet people. So to me, I know all types that of different true. types of people. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And the thing is, is I think that when people just decide that this is how they're going to be, mm -hmm. they're also around people like like them mm -hmm. and they don't ever prepare themselves to be around people that's why when you go to a dentist office they tell you to put your comb your hair they're like oh, oh i've never been around people who expect anything of me yeah oh Oops. oh my god there's a place that people expect something of me and i wasn't prepared for that yeah. so now i don't know how to be around different people and i think that that's the thing i think it's important people, yeah. that black people are around white people that white people come out of there and be around some black people hispanic people yeah that you need to interact with other people, poor people need to interact with people with some money, or just culture, you know I mean? culture. ballets. Right, that's what I'm saying. Just like just like culture and stuff like that. I think that you should you should be you should explore different things. Mm -hmm. When you when you aren't just around people who are like you, mm -hmm. you find out that you have co in common some things with people who are mm -hmm. different than you that you think are different than you, mm -hmm. and um, but it will prepare you to want to be different mm -hmm. and do different things. If you just stay stuck in the same people all mm -hmm. the time, then you will never be different, and you'll only know that from beginning to end you know what I mean but it's just like open yourself up because sometimes yeah. when you stay in this little bubble and you mm -hmm. think that there's no world outside of you and your friends you okay with the bonnet girls yeah <laughs> you're then you all you know are people who are listening to you know rap mm -hmm. or who are always talking slang and people who um, just wear the bonnets to you're around people mm -hmm. that are like you because you don't know how to come out of that element because the unknown is always very scary yeah. for people who have been subjected to just this one like enclosed group of people. So I think that you people do need to explore more. Because mm -hmm. for that dentist, I think she said it was a black dentist. That's a dentist that has some kind of class. So this dentist doesn't want people walking in there looking classless. 
And I know that's harsh. I know when people hear that, they'll be like, oh, class. Cares, what do you mean? Poor. You're not uppity. You're, you, you know, they're be poor these, and yeah. wear clean clothes. Yeah, you can. We were poor. <laughs> we were we were not. We didn't have money growing up. My mother didn't have money like that growing up, but she made for sh damn sure that we spoke well, that we presented well, and that we had manners. She instilled a lot of stuff mm -hmm. in us. And I'm just saying that I think that that's helped us. Like, I've never been the person who had tons of money. But the fact that I've had manners has helped me get, like, a job. You never know. You know, know stuff like that. You never know when an opportunity will present you itself. You don't. Yeah. You know, what is that whole that saying? Um, it's better to be prepared for an opportunity yeah. than to, you know what I mean, or to prepare yourself and not have an opportunity. Yeah. But then to have an opportunity not be prepared. Right, yes. This is much better because yeah. you never know. Like, say you're a woman that's single. Mm -hmm. And you go out looking like the wreck yeah. <laughs> the world. And then you don't know that that could be the day that some guy mm -hmm. that you're looking for could be. <laughs> in right. past you're like, Ooh. You know what I mean? Or True. maybe you're looking for a job. Or maybe you're doing something. Something. You know what I mean? Some kind of thing. You know you what I mean? Have and to know other you have things. to be ready in life. I agree. You should right. care about how you look. But you should also, you know, have other things, things in your life yeah. that make you who you are, not just your looks. Right. But you, when you show up in the world, that's what people see first. Yeah. Everybody sees, even you, you will judge somebody. Yeah. You got to be, a, you are one of these people, be, you will also judge people. You have to be approachable. If you're not approachable, then good luck. It's not going to be a very mm -hmm. difficult road for you. So, but you guys, let us know what you think about this um, and what she said. We'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Um, please do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. We would love that. And that's it. We will see you guys in the next video. Bye.